first time I met Tom Allsop, he came and performed at the Deuce Comedy New Act, New Material Night that we do at Jocks Brady's. And he contacted me beforehand by email. He said that he was a teacher and he was looking to try and get into stand-up comedy and give it a go. And like we do, we, we, we said, please come down and give it a try, you know. We don't ever turn anyone away for a gig unless they're a real numpty. Um, so he came along and he smashed it. He absolutely smashed it. I'd never seen him before and he was so good. He was the, the, the head and shoulders the best acts on the bill that night. And so afterwards I went up to him and I, and I said, man, I was, really enjoyed that. Um, how long have you been performing for? Expecting him to say something like a few months or maybe a year, you know, something between eight and twelve months. And he said that was his first ever performance. And I hated him for that because comedians don't have a good first gig. It just doesn't happen. And and if and if you find one prick that did, <laughs> you can't stand him because yours was never good. <laughs> Um, and so I, I, I immediately disliked his innate, his innate talent, and um, and so I, I tried to, I tried to sabotage him. I, I tried to catch him out. I said, okay, um, <laughs> uh, come back next month and do another performance of brand new material. Because in my head, I was, I was thinking, okay, he's had years to practice this in front of a mirror, in front of a classroom full of of sycophant children he's got a good 10 minutes he's been working on his entire life I'll get him back next month to do another 10 minutes he's only had a month to do and practice and it will be rubbish and I'll be like ha yeah that's the real experience of comedy it's crushing and horrible and so he, he came back the following month and did a brand new set of 10 minutes and if anything, it was better. And I died a little bit inside then, um, and it made me, it made me more self-aware of my own inadequacies as a comedian. And I hated him even more for it because uh, it was just so good. And I said, I said, right, okay, fine. And and he came back the following month, the third month in a row, which was just as an audience member. And when I saw him in the audience, I thought, ha ha, I'll get him now. And I, and I came up to him out of the blue and I said, I need you to go on and do me a favour and perform. We've had a comedian drop out. We hadn't. We've had a comedian drop out. I need you to go up there and do me five, ten minutes off the cuff now without any time to perform. Clearly, practice clearly it was his, his preparation that had been getting him the laughs previously. So I was going to really get him this time, really needle him. And... Um, he, he kind of said, oh, uh, I'm not sure. And I went, no, I need you to, please. And so he did it, because I can manipulate anybody. And he got up. And with no preparation, he was really, really good again. And he even did new stuff that we hadn't previously seen. It was so bone-shakingly, <laughs> annoyingly talented and good. And that's, 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 how, we, uh, that's how I knew that Tom Allsop was an incredibly talented performer, a very, very talented comedian in both the way he writes and more in the way he performs. And he is, it will not be long before Tom Allsop is a big, big star in stand-up comedy. Um, and that is evident. It, 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 you know, okay, he got his, broke, his break with us here at, at Juice Comedy, but he could have done it anywhere and been just as successful. I mean, He's, he is annoyingly talented. Um, and having him on the bill at the Met um, is a necessity. He's just that good. And I'm on the bill as well. And I sat down and I obviously want to put myself top of the bill. Because I'm booking it and it's me. And I sat down and I look at the piece of paper with my name above his... And after looking at it for five, ten minutes, I just realised that's impossible. It just cannot happen. Tom Allsop has to be the headliner. He has to be top of the bill. He's just... He's just so much better than me.